Hello boys and girls, this is Reaver speaking. I'm not going to be doing any more Torchlight 2 uploads. I apologize really if it disappoints you. But I'm going to be doing some changes to how I upload videos. And instead of full gameplays, I'm going to be doing some commentary. And it's only going to be in the beginning of the game. Or excuse me, in the beginning of the video. And most of the time will be paused or it's going to be in the introduction screen. Now, with Torchlight 2, oh, I feel like an amateur in the first one. Which my, my, my first character was a berserker. Didn't go too far and I'm pretty unhappy about that. Oh my goodness. I hardly ever die and that was one of the biggest shocks when I... I did a mistake. And it's up to part one to five and part six and beyond is all engineer. Now I play Torchlight 2 not only on my desktop, which is the one I'm on now, but also on laptop and also with friends and in their place. And I went pretty damn far. So just to help you guys with my engineer build, it's a hybrid, actually. It's a Dex and Vitality build, and a Damage and Summoning build together. With Dexterity, it's 300 points into Dexterity, and 200 points into Vitality. And reason being is that blockchains and dodge rate is capped at 75%, I believe. And it's just hard to come by with dodge rate rather than blockchains. Well, that's how I've seen it. So that's the only reason why there's 100 points in for decks rather than by the 250-250 split. With damage and summoning build, what I mean by that is that your character does damage with minions rather than one or the other so I'm gonna have all the skills for my build in Horse Light 2 Armory there's gonna be a link in the description box please check it out and if you have any questions addressed to me I'll be sure to help you uh, whether questions about my build the game just leave me a message or send me a message via personal ma personal mail which is you know on YouTube and I'll respond promptly if you're I have I have one guy who asked me why I kept switching out spider mine and solely because in my build you don't max it out for one reason only it's not a pure summoning build it's a damage and summoning build it doesn't hit as hard without much points invested into it and the only one thing that I loved about it when it's maxed out was that there was a stun on it but early game it gets you through it's uh, basically 1.1 1 .1 there but you don't want to keep it so that's why I kept switching it up out and replacing with something else between force field and the other shield is that one's an active and one's a passive and because you also do damage hence damage summoning build you get charge and with that charge your force field is much stronger than the passive and you get to put it up anytime you want the points that I put one point into besides Spider Mine, which will be taken out, is the Blue Burst. I don't remember the exact name, but it heals your mana. It's in the description. And that's all it does. If you don't like it, you can always switch it out for something else. But I highly suggest you keep Supercharge at one point, just solely because of the 3% chance. It doesn't seem like it's a lot, but you do punch stuff so many times that it does kick in here and there 
with the 3% full charge. That's also amazing for just your force field since there's only one skill in my build that uses charge. Bam, kick it out. And put up your shield and just wreak havoc. There's also one point invested into a passive which I believe is 5% electricity and 5% fire. I don't remember the exact skill name, but it's in the passive section. And it's also a great skill solely for uh, coup de grace. And I picked that skill because of shield bash because it has a stun. That's primarily why. And it also charges pretty damn quick. That's shell bash. One of the major skills in this build. Now your pet, I highly suggest Frost. Frost is amazing on the pet just because it slows them down, even if they're ice. Just slows them down. It doesn't it's not really about the damage. It does Weapon attack slowdown, which is a attack speed decrease, movement speed decrease, and the shatter. <laughs> I find that pretty funny. You can also put up a heal all on the pet. And maybe summonings or just anything that you like. For your character, the spells I honestly say that you should have would be the passive spells which is like plus willpower plus defense plus elemental resist whatever just make sure it's a passive and if you do have summoning spells I highly suggest you give it to your pittance rather than yourself just so you can click less and you don't have to worry about you know constantly refreshing summoning section and just have your pet do it for you until you switch it out and if you like it too and if you like it you can always have it since it's not a guarantee that you're gonna get the permanent passive spell hmm I also like to address my future uploads and three of the Upcoming games that I'm gonna put up is XCOM Enemy Unknown, which is available October 9th of 2012, Hitman Absolution, which is available November 20th of 2012, and Assassin's Creed 3. Just to give you some insight, it XCOM Enemy Unknown is related to Silent Storm. You can check it out. It's also a turn-based game. Jack Alliance series if you haven't played and well you could well, I guess you could include uh, Fallout 1 and 2 but um, things, the playstyle is different um, XCOM Enemy Unknown I have a demo gameplay up so you guys can check it out and, it does seem fun, but just one thing is just that everybody is a headshot artist. This guy did burst fire and all three shot, three, four shots all hit them in the head. And I'm just wondering what the hell this medic needs to be a sharpshooter. But then again, they did say that, you know, these are like the best of the best. So, I don't know, maybe it's just an oversight that they don't do body shots. Well, at least what I've seen when playing the demo. But I've been waiting a long time for it. It does seem very fun. And I'm going to be playing hardcore. So there's no resaves. If one dies, well, too fucking bad. I apologize and I salute you so. Oh, man. And it won't be on insane. Which I believe there's a few difficulties. It'll be probably hard or very hard. I will check. And Hitman Absolution. Oh my god. 
I cannot believe what they did. They added instinct mode for Agent 47. I don't know why some people like it, but it just completely killed the franchise. So, when I put up the video uploads, there will not be instinct mode up. I am going to be playing it without it. I don't care, don't want it, don't need it. And simply because 47 is not Batman, he doesn't have Batman vision, he's not Superman, he doesn't have x-ray vision, and he does not a secret agent who can see through walls like Splinter Cell, alright? He does not need that, and he's also not a fortune teller, he does not predict footsteps. That is fucking retarded. Who do you see knows where this person is going? I mean honestly, if you see the guy walking down the street, you can tell that he's coming down the street. But, you know, it's just stupid. Ugh. Can't believe they ruined it. So, Instinct Mode will be off. And I will be playing it on the hardest difficulty. It won't be Silent Assassin. Because, honestly, that's just boring. I just like shooting people. But I'll try my best to be... Stealthy. And not give away my position. But I am going to be going on a kill fest. If you guys want to have a Silent Assassin rating, or want me to put one up, maybe I'll change my mind instead of going crazy and shooting everyone. I will just kill the target. The last thing is Assassin's Creed 3. In the Assassin's Creed series honestly did not impress me. And it's just basically based on one thing and one thing only. That is the counter move. Oh my god, that thing is fucking overpowered. Have you ever played Assassin's Creed 1? All you click was that counter button. Counter, 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 counter. Assassin's Creed 2, even though they addressed that, it's still fucking overpowered. Counter, 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 counter. I did play 2, I did play uh, Brotherhood, I didn't play any of the other... The other uh, games but it's a good story I did I do like it it's fun and especially with red coats and American militia and muskets I'm pretty interested in seeing how the Assassin's Creed franchise is going to because I believe you're playing as a Native American and well mixed actually Native American and white with a sense of what was it right and wrong uh, be sure to check it out and uh, hopefully you guys will like the video too but besides that that's all the news for now as I said there's going to be changes and the, instead of gameplay it's going to be commentary but only a little bit and that I'm stopping my Torchlight 2 uploads. This will also be linked separately from my video game logs. So take care and have a safe day. Stay safe and see you next time.